Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Wednesday. Hump day! I just finished uh, one of my clients, guys. I'm training Daniel Cormier's wrestling program. So, uh, the Hawks. So, I'm out here uh, picking my cones up, picking my tubes up, picking up my bands. What's up, Becca? Um, and it's a nice day, so I thought I would do my live outside today at the park. Hey, Susie, what's up, girl? How are you? So, uh, so my BTY seminar that I had on Saturday was a success, right? I'm moving into my into, into my purpose, guys. I'm moving into my to my to, to what God wants me to do, and that's motivationally speak and inspire people through fitness sometimes, but but through lessons, through stories. So my my first seminar was a great success. My family was there, some friends were there, some boot campers were there. And I'm moving forward, guys. So if you know anybody or any companies, or any people or any groups, any teams that want to hear the five steps to greatness, please message me. All right. But today's topic is about the grind and about success and about growth and how it sometimes can be complicated. Not sometimes, all the time can be complicated. Hey, Anthony. So as I said, Saturday was a, was a success, right? I spoke eloquently. I spoke confidently. I was funny, right? I was calm. I was patient. I was confident, right? So if I had to grade it, you know, I don't give I don't give A's to me. Even my workouts, I don't give A's often. A minus, B plus is at the best. So if I had to grade it, I would say I got a B. I got a B, Susie, right? So, but it was fun. I had a great time. But then we fast forward. We fast forward Monday. Yeah, what's that? What's that? Wednesday, Monday. Wasn't great. I had some stumbles in my class. Uh, I did a live, I believe, on Monday. I didn't feel confident about that. Tuesday, I was kind of down, feeling feeling kind of uh, the opposite of confident, defeated, tired. Today, same thing, right? Got mad at my class for some for no reason, really. And so, I'm back to fear. I'm back to uh, doubt. I'm back to you know, fighting against those voices that have been that have been haunting me my whole life, right? Since Susie was giving me academic advice at UC Davis, right? Fearful of, of, of who I am, who I can become, fearful of trying to be great, right? So that was back. And so my point of this message is that there are three, there are three demons that hide, that walk with growth. Right, three lessons, three, three things to keep in mind as we chase our dreams, our goals, whatever the goal is. Right, to to earn a, a degree, to build a business, to lose weight. Right, there's three lessons. Right, three things to think about as we fight against the inertia of self doubt, of fear. Right, number one. What's up, Chris? Number one, growth is not linear. Right. We don't, we're not going to go at the same trajectory the whole time, right? So because you ate well and lost weight this week does not mean you're going to lose weight next week. Just because you were strong in the gym this week does not mean you're going to be even stronger next week. Just because you spoke well on Saturday, Coach Bobby, does not mean you're going to speak well the next day automatically. If that were the case, Stephen Curry would never have bad days, right? Uh, the great hitters would never strike out. Right, so growth is not linear. Right, all you can hope for is that over time the overall trend is going up. Right, the housing market goes up and down, but over the last hundred years, it's gone up. Right, when you, when you, when you overlay the, the the aggregate picture, it goes up. Right, stock market the same thing. The stock market is up and down by the hour, but if you back up. A decade or two or three or a century the overall trend is going up so your growth is the same way it's gonna go up and down you're gonna you're gonna get good grades and bad grades you're gonna lose weight and gain weight you're gonna feel confident and then feel defeated you're gonna win games and then lose games that's part of it right all you can do is get to the drawing back to the drawing board right and hope and I hope and work so that the overall trend it's going up, that you have more better days than bad days, that you have more wins than losses. That's why I preach the whole win the week, 
right? Win four days out of seven. Win the series every week, right? Chasing your goal, right? Win four days, no matter what it is, weight loss, academics, building a business, speaking better, relationships. Try to win four days every week. That's it. You're you, you going to win every game. I'm going to have days where I stutter and, and talk fast and feel defeated, right? But if more days are of me feeling good about who I am, I'm going to be trending upward, right? My stock is going to be one of the stocks to buy. And that's all we can hope for, right? So number one is, is again, growth is not linear. Number two is we have to wake up every day, every single day with this notion that it's a new game. Right, my saying, my mantra, I got it from somewhere, I didn't invent this, but my saying is that you, you know, success is never owned. Right, you don't ever own success forever. Success is leased. And so, and the rent is due every single day. So you want a game, so what? There's a game tomorrow. You want to play, so what? In fact, our coaches told us that your ability to win the next play is negated by your win of this play. So if you won this play, that gives you too much confidence to focus on the next play. So the next play has nothing to do with what you did this play. That guy is going to still line up to whoop your butt the next play. So, yeah, you won this play, but guess what? The, 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 the huddle's going to break. You're going to line up and be challenged again. So when you break the huddle in football, you're challenged on every play. When you break the huddle in life, every day you're challenged. does not matter whether or not you won the last play or won the last game, right? So success is not owned. It ain't ever owned. It's leased. And every day you wake up, every time you go to the gym, every time you start a new diet, every time you read a new book, that rent is due again. And when you approach it that way, you continue to get better and grind and fight. So number one, again, success is not linear. Growth is not linear. You're going to have ups and downs, guys. You have to expect that, right? As, as a football player, I expected to have some bad days. Eventually, I did. Hey, Stacy, right? But I dealt with them better. Like, there were days in practice I couldn't cover anybody. I'm getting burned left and right. If I let that get the best of me, I wouldn't play well the next practice and more importantly, the next game. So the ability to understand that you're going to have ebbs and flows in your life, right? If Curry went, if Stephen Curry went to the tank every time he had a bad shooting performance, he wouldn't be Stephen Curry. So you understand that you're going to have some nights where you're just off. You're going to have some days when you're off. There are some days where I just talk faster than usual. Or stutter more than usual. But I know I got passion. I know I have heart. And I know more often than not, my message gets across. So if I lose a day, a day, a game, right? Metaphorically, right? All I can do is just say, you know what? That was a loss. And bounce back. And do another video. Do another talk to bounce back. Right? So it's not linear. Growth is not linear. Success damn sure ain't linear. And then the rent of success is due every day. You don't ever own it forever, right? And then lastly, what you have to re recognize is that all of these ups and downs, all of these frustrations you go through, they come with a price, right? But they come with a prize at the end, right? When you, when you are able to get on that stage as, a, as, a, as an, honor, you know, an honor student, or when they announce you as the, as the person who won the award, right, for best salesman. Or when you win the championship. Or when you're awarded the best player on your team. Or when you uh, get your first million dollar contract. Or when you uh, make the top ten list for whatever it is in, in, your, in your business. Or when you finally hear your daughter or son say, I'm proud of you, dad. Those moments make all that other shit worth it. I promise you. All the grind that you go through is worth it, right? Walking through the mall, having somebody check you out, right? A little kid look at you like you're a superhero. That's worth all the box jumps I do. That's worth all the ketones I do. It's worth it. So those moments, although far in between, they make all the other crap worth it. That's why you do this stuff. You don't do it for the day-to-day -day mundane. You do it for the greatness. 
You do it for the greatness. You do it for, for the awards. You do it for your wife telling you good job. You do it for your husband telling you good job. You do it for your kids telling you they're proud of you. You do it to be recognized as a top salesman. You do it to whatever you, but you do it for those small moments that are, that are sorry, big moments that are far between, but they make all that grind worth it. Right, so this process of growing, this process of chasing greatness, it ain't for everybody. If it was, everybody would be trying to be great, right? Where in fact, most of us are trying to be average or okay being average. I ain't okay being average, guys. I ain't okay being average. If, you know, I'm not, I'm not. Even if it means a little money in my pocket, a little security, I ain't okay with that. I ain't okay with going into my grave, not maximizing who I am as a person. That ain't in my DNA. My mom didn't make me to do that. My mom didn't die for me to do that. For me to, ex- to accept what, what the world's giving me. I ain't going to accept shit. I'm going to take what's mine. I'm, I'm not going to accept what you give me, world. I'm going to take what's mine, what's rightfully mine and yours, right? We, we, we're granted upon birth the, the right to be great. The right to be great. And I'm not accepting just some money or some house or some car because you gave it to me, world. I'm going to take what's mine. Right? And within us is the ability to be great, all of us. All, and you know it. You know you have the, the, the ability to be great. But you're comfortable. Right? So there really is no reason to, to fight for it. Because you're comfortable. It feels okay to, to come home to a house and watch television and eat good food. Right? When in deep inside, you know there's more in you. You know there's more in you. Right? But it comes with a lot of stuff that we don't want to deal with. A lot of grind. A lot of pushing that we don't want to deal with. I'm telling you guys, it's part of it. It's part of it. Again, it's Wednesday, right? Saturday seems like a, a two months ago when I rocked it on stage at my first event. I'm going to have more. I'm going to have bigger ones. But that one felt like I was, I was at, 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 at the Oracle Arena. It felt that good. But now I'm at Wednesday, and it seems like a month ago. Because now I'm, now I'm back to doubting who I am. I'm back, I'm, back, I'm back to fearing that I can't speak well enough. But you know what? I'm going out again on Friday to talk to another company about the five steps to greatness. So I'm not, I'm not sitting down and letting fear beat me and letting fear stop me. Right? I'm like, you know what? I'm taking the fight on. Hey, you, you bad? I know you bad, fear. I, 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 know, you, I know you like 78 no with, with, with 75 knockouts. But I'm coming, I'm coming to get you, fear. I'm coming to get you. I'm going to be in the ring. You might beat me up. I might be bloodied and bruised, but I'm not running from you. Right? Fear, anxiety, doubt, I'm not running from you. Right? So you might, you might be in my head today, fear, but I'm coming for you. Right? So let's know that, guys. All that's normal. But just know that, that the three things, right, that accompany your chase to greatness. The three things, right? Success is not linear, right? We're going to be like this the whole time, guys. The whole time. You're going to lose five pounds. You're going to gain two back. You're going you're gonna to read five books confidently. You're going you're gonna to read two you don't feel good about. You're going you're gonna to ace two tests. You're going you're gonna to barely pass one test. That's how it is. You're going to have five days in a row of, 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 good, of good times with your spouse or your friend or your girlfriend or your boyfriend and then one bad day. You and your daughter are going to be on good terms for three days and there's going to be one bad. That's how it is. It's going to be like this. All you can hope for is that the overall trend, if you're working at it, is like this, going up, going up, right? So it's not linear. Number two, wake up every single day ready to battle, right? Ready to fight because success ain't guaranteed. It ain't owned, right? I'm willing to wake up and pay the rent every day. Wake up and pay the rent every day. I'm, I'm I hear boom, check there, right? I know, I know, I don't own it, right? I won Saturday, but can, m- Sunday morning, Monday morning, I woke up, boom, there's my check. I'm paying rent on my greatness every day. I'm doing videos. I'm paying rent every day for my greatness. I'm doing, I'm doing my workouts all the time. I, I'm already. I'm, some might say I'm already there. I wouldn't say that because I know how it works. I know how life works. Ask the Patriots if they're already there. They ain't already there. Ask the Warriors if they're already there. They ain't already there. They know it's, it's, it's leashed. Success is leashed. And every day they're waking up and paying the rent. Steph Curry still shooting jumpers every day. Kevin Durant still working on this game every day. Why? Because they know success is leashed. 
right? So wake up tomorrow and pay that rent. Boom, there it is. I'm paying for greatness. Boom, there it is. I'm reading the book. Boom, there it is. I'm doing push-ups. Boom, there it is. I'm eating right. Where you at? I'm, I'm, uh, let's, let's pay for it every day. And then lastly, guys, recognize that, that we, ain't trying to, we ain't trying to win these small moments. We're trying to build momentum for the big ones. So we'll accept some of, some of, some of the frustration and some of the pain. Because in the end, we're trying to get the big moments. The big moments with our family. The big moments with our company. The big moments in our sport. Right? So the grind is for that. Right? All right, guys. So I'm out here. Ooh, it's a nice day. It's a nice day. I should do some sprints. You ready? Sprints? <laughs> I can still do it, y'all. Don't, don't get it twisted. I love you guys. Right? So, again, my five steps to greatness is coming into crystallization, right? I'm creating a workshop around it. I'm creating some, some training protocols around all the five steps. So if you know any teams, any groups, any companies that, that, are, that are stuck, right, or that are, are lethargic and maybe need a new voice to talk to them about the ways they can be better and the ways they can be great, then hit me up, all right? I'm trying to get this thing moving forward, right, and get everybody talking about five steps to greatness, right? I'm going to call it 5S. 2G, 5S, 2G, five steps to greatness. All right, guys, I love you guys. Have a great Wednesday. Chase your dream, guys. Chase your dream and don't stop until you have that dream in your claws, in your claws, in your claws. All right, guys, love you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.